here's the deer because we feed them when they're looking for food. Bienvenidos to day 24. The day has arrived where we are now expecting and we are waiting for the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So Feliz Navidad. Merry Christmas to all of you. Thank you to those of you who have actually been watching these um, gift vlogmas videos that I have uploaded a little late but I do thank you for um, watching them. It's been fun revealing the little items that are in the advent calendar but just kind of giving you glimpses into some of my day-to-day. -day. I know I always enjoy watching the um, vlogmas videos from some of my favorite content creators so but most of all, within this holiday season, I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed um, Christmas for those of you that celebrate with your loved ones, with your family, with your friends. If you're like us, you kind of have to split your time between families. So it is Christmas Eve here. So we actually spent the day um, hosting here at our home and my um, husband's brother and sister came over with their family. So it was just nice to actually have them here. So it was just very nice to spend the day with them. I'm operating on only four hours of sleep. We went to bed like at four in the morning and I was up by eight just getting everything else ready, making sure the food was ready. We actually have a turkey air fryer, so my husband was frying that um, this afternoon. So he brined it for like a couple of days and then I always inject it. It just came out super, super juicy and that's just what we enjoy doing is actually frying the turkeys. But the air fryer has been a lot better than actually getting all of that peanut oil and all of their stuff and having to watch it and the time and this and that and making sure the temperature is at the right um, level and all of that. So this one's more hassle-free. It's literally like a set it and forget it and it just came out actually spectacular even better than the one that we did for um, Thanksgiving. So I hope you all have enjoyed the day and I hope all of you have a wonderful Christmas. But let's go ahead and reveal the final, final day within the advent calendar for the 24th so we can see what the final prize is, the final little gift is within this lovely glass house advent calendar. All right, as you can see, I have my little armed guards right here. Last night I was actually pulling stuff out of the closet upstairs and I found this really cute little nutcracker that my amiga um, gave me last year. Super, super cute. Check him out. Very fancy, so I thought, you know what? I need to have a little friend here with my other little cute little pink nutcracker. So I'm gonna set them to the side because they've been keeping watch and we will go ahead and find the gift for today. So everybody is celebrating for the holiday, all of the feasts, everybody is seated around the table. They have sweets and today's final little gift comes in here. Oh, how cute. We actually have this really beautiful mini sized glass house candle and this one is of dancing sugar plum. So we have a miniature version of the red one um, that I showed you the other day where I actually put the carousel on it that I mixed it with the one that we got in the uh, the vanilla Taha Fair and the actual spinning carousel box. But this one is a really good fun fragrance of that dancing sugar plums. I actually moved it into the hallway so this way um, it would fragrance the hallway. And then I have my candy cane, Voluspa candle in um, the island. This 
year I, we wanted to do something different so this way we could honor um, my husband's parents who we lost um, a couple years ago and then also my father so I ended up putting the candle in the center of the island and then I put their pictures um, there in the center so that this way they could be um, with us on this special day it, we thought it would be very nice to have their pictures there on display with us amongst us as we were feasting because we this way they could be here with us in spirit so just a nice thing to do especially for those of you who have lost some loved ones it's nice to set um, their pictures out with a candle in remembrance of them so just another little chica tip for you there for today all right so this beautiful little candle that's a really perfect little size that little candle this beautiful little miniature sized candle from glass house is perfect in case i want to put it in um, one of the bathrooms um, this way in case i do host a little gathering for the um arrival of the three kings i'll put that little candle in the um, guest bathroom so this way it smells beautiful gift vlogmas here on day 24 i have some fun chanel gifts that i treated myself to that i wanted to go ahead and share with you so let's go ahead and get the first little chanel bag and we have the beautiful little white chanel bag with the beautiful little black camellia and it was just so fun that this year they actually did these really cute little chanel charms and of course this one is a number five how cute is that? And you can actually remove it. So I might just make myself a little charm with those. We'll see what I end up doing. So I've got a few things in here. My wonderful essay here actually gave me some samples. And oh, look at this really cute little, look at this cute little Chanel box. Isn't that cute? So this is the number five Eau de Parfum. And oh, this is a pretty one. Look at that cute little mini size bottle of the Chanel number five. These are so cute, mira nomas. And my nails are a mess. From all of the working, all of the wrapping, I'm gonna have to redo them like tomorrow. Thankfully, I took my own nail polish with me when I went and got my nails done the other day, but they are a disaster. They're atrocious now, amigas. But super cute little Chanel mini. The box is absolutely precious. I'm gonna have to see if maybe this fits in my little um, ornaments as we were doing the other day. She also gave me a sample of the 1957. This one actually smells really, really nice. I put this uh, fragrance on my wish list, so um, she was nice enough to actually give me a sample. My husband went and picked this up for me as he was coming home. This is a nice little bottle size. Very, very pretty. Look at this. Beautiful. And this scent is really pretty, this 1957. Absolutely wonderful from Chanel. So I have a few samples of this one and then the Gardenia, which is actually another favorite. I've been meaning to tell you this about the Chanel um, customer service. I, last Christmas when I was doing the 12 days of Christmas, I had bought myself the really large bottle of the Chanel Gardenia when I was in um, Dallas. After I had left Hermes, I went to go over to the Chanel store. And so this was like in September when my friend got married. And so I bought the bottle, paid for it. And I told the guy, wrap it up because that's going to be my little Christmas gift. And so as I was literally filming the video last year for um, one of the Chanel items, I unwrapped it. I was recording and I unwrapped it. And when I looked at the bottle, it was the wrong fragrance. I was horrified because it was the completely wrong perfume bottle. And this was the large one that cost over $300. And, and I'm, mind you, I bought it out of town and I was past the 30 days, you know, return policy or exchange policy, whatever. And I called the store. The store was like, nope, you're past the 30 days. And then I called customer service and customer service was like, well, you're past the 30 days. And I said, listen, I said, this was put away because this was a Christmas gift. And I literally, as I was unwrapping it is when I noticed that it was the wrong scent because the bottles are all white, right? The top is all white. It doesn't have the name, it just a Chanel. And at the very bottom, when you turn it over at the bottom of the base on the black portion, it, that's where it shows you the name of the actual perfume. So looking at it just, forward like this it just says Chanel and so I, I was none the wiser because the gentleman had just packed it up for me 
It took a while, but I did um, have to do a formal write-up to the Chanel customer service. They were like, explain what happened, send us the receipts. And I said, listen, you know, and I explained everything, um, what had happened. I've um, emailed them the um, receipts and of the transaction. And I said, this was brand new. I said, I have a lengthy purchase history in beauty as well as your leather goods. Your bottles do not show offhand what the name is, is and until you actually open up the bottle, because nobody's gonna really look at the bottom of the base of that black portion that you open up the top lid that you notice what the fragrance is and mind you this was already like January that purchase was done back in September and the Chanel customer service was spectacular they made it right and they turned around and refunded me even though it was way past the 30-day you know return policy within a couple of weeks they actually went ahead and just sent me a check to refund me for that full amount of the purchase i really wanted just them to exchange it but they were very wonderful and they um, mitigated the problem and the solution was sending me a check right away i literally got it within like about a week from the time that i actually submitted all of the paperwork that they needed so very wonderful customer service really really good experience so just sharing with that with you just in case something were to ever happen like that to you or somebody you know make sure that you work with their customer service team okay and the next little item comes in here have my receipts okay and oh she did give me another look mira que cute yeah she did give me another little charm. She added it on here. See how it's like that little perfume bottle? Oh, how cute. Packaging is always very, very nice for Chanel. And I would, oh, I don't wanna mess this up. I still have um, one of the items that I purchased a few years back in my bedroom. And the wrapping is just beautiful with all the Chanel on there. Super cute. Let's see if I can gently open this up without really horrible horribly tearing this up because sometimes i try and get it back to the way it is but that's probably not gonna work yeah nice double stick tape <laughs> do y'all celebrate on christmas eve or do y'all celebrate on christmas day let me know we my family always grew up especially um in the hispanic in the latin culture a lot of us are used to celebrating on christmas eve which is what i always did with my family and my husband was always used to celebrating on christmas day so it always kind of worked out once we got married because christmas eve we could go spend it with my family and then christmas day we went over to his and we changed it up this year and just said, you know what, we'll spend Christmas Eve with your family. So it was really, really nice hosting them and having them come over. And look, even the Chanel paper is like double-sided. Look at that. Gold on one side and then a light gold on the other. You have the nice gold box with the Chanel, so it's gonna look beautiful on my tree. And this one is actually the um, Start Fresh skincare set. I needed um, some more toner. And so this one actually came with the toner and then the anti-pollution water to foam cleanser. And so nice restock on this. And it comes with this nice, lovely little case. So let's see. And you have this really beautiful navy case with the nice gold flex and the Chanel. And it's actually raised a little bit, the Chanel here. And you have the little Chanel pull in gold. And I have a couple of the red ones that they released a few years ago. And then um, last year, I don't think I got anything because I really didn't need anything. The lip glosses are always the same. And I'm like, I don't need any more lippies. I have so many to save my life. This is the water to foam cleanser and then the um, toner. So very, very nice. Very, very nice. So just the nice toner. I actually love this one. I'm using it and I knew um, I, I'm almost, I'm about, a, I'm about a fourth, I'm about halfway done on that toner that I've been using for Chanel and then wanted to go ahead and just restock. And then this one is the um, foam, water to foam cleanser. So nice, nice. Now I have another, um, so now I am restocked on my cleanser and I am restocked on my toner. 
really, really pretty and just a nice size of a little um, cosmetic case that I can keep like toiletries. It's very soft. This is a very nicely soft um, pouch, but beautiful with the navy and then the flecks of gold on here. Really, really pretty. I get to keep my little ribbon with the little Chanel charm. Super cute. The the ribbon even looks like navy. Is that the color? The ribbon is like navy and gold. This is really beautiful with the charm. So cute, so cute. Then we have this item. She called me, my essay here called me the other day and she says, you know what, we're releasing some new items if you wanna come and take a look. And I said, okay, I'll go because I still needed to get a gift for my niece. So I went, got her a little something and went ahead and picked up something else for myself while I was there. And so she packed it up in this lovely gold box. So another little nice thing to add to my little Chanel tree, but I like Gantra for next year's decor. This is a really pretty color combination with this navy and this gold. Absolutely wonderful. All right. So we have a few items inside. First item is this nail polish. All right. And it is number 175. I don't know how the heck you would pronounce this, but it's number 175. But it's this really beautiful, beautiful um, blush pink. Not that light like ballerina pink that's very kind of pale. I love the color on this one because it looked more um, blush, like natural nail color, for especially for my skin tone. So I might just switch it out and put this one on. Um, tomorrow when I redo my nails or the day after that, but really, really fun. Their lip balm colors that came out in the actual white little case, they were really pretty and that's what I actually got my niece. That Rouge Coco Balm, which they're releasing with the white that have more of that moisturizing. I bought that one for my niece and, um, and the color Keep Cool. So it's almost like the boy color, but a little bit of a shimmer, just a nice natural color. That one was really, really pretty that I was tempted to keep it for myself, but I said, no, Lorita, you don't need again. I don't need any more lip colors. So um, I ended up just go ahead and giving that one to her. So this way my niece can have a nice bougie little lip color. But I went ahead and, and um, wanted to get this one from the Chanel Beauty line. And this one is that... Um, Mesicular, you know, micellar. This is their cleansing water. So I wanted to go ahead and try this one because sometimes when I'm, you know, doing my facial skincare, I like to do the, um, when I'm doing the removal of the makeup and then I'll do the toner. Sometimes I just miss having like, you know, the cleansing water to kind of just go over it again to, you know, remove any possible extra residue. So this one is their, so this one is their cleansing water. So Really, really excited to try this one. So let me see, what is this one? So this is like a foaming. So you can see that's got like a foaming pump. So nice. So looking forward to putting this one on my bathroom counter. So this way I can go ahead and use this one tomorrow. And my essay was very kind enough to throw in a little um, gift for me. So she threw in this lovely little box. And in here, let's see what we have. It's a really pretty little pouch. Let's see. Oh, it's in the beautiful, like, um, gold with, like, this cream color. Same material like that navy pouch for the other kit, but just really pretty. You have the Chanel Beauté on here. Really nice in case you want to, um, you know, use some personal products or some beauty items or what have you. Just really, really nice, thin little pouch that you can use for travel or just throw in your everyday bag to hold your essentials, but really, really pretty. Very kind of her to throw this in my um, little, little bag. So that's my cute little um, extra little bonus um, that she threw in with this purchase. Amigos, thank you so much again for accompanying me throughout this gift vlogmas videos that I have been able to upload and share just some fun activities. These items are, that I shared with you, I think are just really great gift ideas that are universal, 
They're not just for Christmas. We have more holidays and events coming in the new year. So hopefully some of these items that I shared with you are ones that you were able to try and enjoy, or you maybe it was a really good idea that you thought would make a great gift for someone within your circle. And I'm sure they are going to love it as much as I have loved these items that I have shared with you. Let me know if there were any of them that you've tried out, that you purchased and how you've been enjoying them or who the recipient that received it, how they've been enjoying it. Would love to hear that feedback from you guys. And just thank you so much for actually taking the time to watch them and to comment. It's just been fun reading everybody's comments. So thank you so much for that. Feliz Navidad, amigos. Merry Christmas. I hope you have a very wonderful and blessed holiday in your part of the world. And thank you again for joining me today. And as always, to our veterans and all our servicemen and women serving and defending our country around the world, especially to those who are currently deployed during this holiday season. From my military home to yours, thank you so much for your service. I will see you in the next one. Hasta la próxima, amigos. Bye-bye. Feliz Navidad.